So what's up, everybody? Uh, I wanted to talk about um, the hypocrisy of hookup culture. So, you know, when I'm out here socializing with people or I look at certain videos from YouTube, one of the things that that is laughable as a black pillar is when you hear the normies and the media say, well, I don't understand how, you know, incels are complaining about not getting sex because this air quotes today we're living in the best times and the easiest of times for men to have sex right but what they're forgetting is that when it comes to the sexual market place the actual sexual market value right like um it's saturated because we have too many males that are always fucking horny thirsty and desperate and so it's fucking overflown drowned and it's engulfed in a, a lot of male atten a lot of uh, male attention and so when i say attention i mean as in as a mass fucking scale of guys are are out are out here like the what, what did in somatics used to say that um like 90 fucking percent of of males are like are the, the main users of like dating apps and it's only like for women it was only like 30 30 percent or something like that um so when it comes to the the percentages there they engulf it's saturated like with a ridiculous male surplus and so there's hypocrisy to hookup culture because when you women are already being saturated every day with this attention but what they don't want to be saturated with is sexual um expectations right like some guys expect to get sex from the dating apps without having to pay for it. this is why a lot of these dating apps are 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 guaranteed failures because it's already us oversaturated market with male attention okay and so when women uh, go on these dating apps, all they're really doing is, is stealing male validation, which is actually really, really sad on male side because it's already been proven that these women don't want to fuck you. They don't want to sleep with you. They don't even, at worst, they don't even want your money, right? Like some guys are willing to pay to, to play, but they don't even want your money. Why? Because once again, they're even oversaturated with that, like, People just don't realize how how engulfed women are with with dick options. They got too many dick options out here, and the last thing they want is uh, more dick. They already have too much of it. Like, and this is just a um, it's not always a female thing. This is just a human nature thing. Like, it it can happen to males. Maybe not so much when it comes to sex because men are always going to be the um, the purveyors of sex, right? They're always going to be the seekers of sex. But when it comes to other things, men can relate to anything that's oversaturated. You start to become disgusted with it or you start to become um, disinterested in it because the value of it is so high that you're you're not looking you know, to demand it anymore. For example, there's so many things I can think of. Anybody can, can make this... Um, hypothesis so for example but it's a factual hypothesis so for example let's say you go to i'm um, trying to think of something in anybody can relate to but i might not be able to give a good example but for me for example um when i go to a store right and you have all these options of of you know of chips you get to the point where it's like god damn i already tried all of them you know there's there's nothing new there's the same type of flavor why don't I try this flavor now, right? Because you get sick of you know, the saturation of chips. They're all the same. They have nothing else new to offer. So you can kind of relate that to women rejecting like 80, 90% of men, right? On the dating apps and even dating websites. There's, there's, a, there's a difference in the dating websites versus the dating apps. The dating apps are more like for really quick hookup hookups for sex and then the dating websites are more for like prolonged relationships like you get to discuss more of what you're looking for and the women can take you more serious versus pulling out your fucking phone and just swiping left or right or whatever the hell you like that you see
Um, so when it comes to hookup culture, I mean, I call out the hypocrisy because like I've been on dating apps and I didn't get not one fucking like, like not one even fucking like option at all, you know, and, 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 you know, probably could have had more success had I sold myself more. But the reason why I personally don't, which I definitely don't recommend guys to do is because with how big cancel culture is nowadays, you're going to run into a lot of stu stupid girls. Like a lot of girls are going to try to assassinate your character if they don't get their way with you. Um, even if you get a date, like I know this guy I, I get along with very well, actually, I, you know, I uh, play with him a lot on the Xbox and, uh, you know, he mentioned about him going on plenty of fish and he said that he got a date with typical, usual freaking female, a single mother, and they went out to eat and that was it. And she actually surprisingly paid for everything. He didn't pay anything. She just kind of saw, they kind of just shot the shit in the wind but then that was it. She never contacted him again. And the reason why I say that's pathetic for you to do as a male is because there's women out here that all they're trying to do is steal your attention. Like that's all they're trying to do. They'll even go as far as pay because they're so damaged in the inside that they just, some of them really need that sort of uh, drastic measure, which is really pathetic. Um, it's the equivalent of a simp overpaying for something he could have had on on a lot more cheaper scale. So again, it's it's an oversaturated market of of male surplus, of a surplus of males, and so of course women are getting disgusted and they're getting frustrated with all these dick options because none of them really seem to stand out. They're all the same. They're all average. So bitches just get disgusted. Now personally, again. Women should, because they're stupid and they're being stupid on purpose, I don't feel sorry for them because women already know what time it is. They know there's a lot of guys that just want to fuck and there's guys who want to date. But the guys who want to date, they're on the war on the wrong fucking platform. They shouldn't be using dating apps or any of that shit. Good luck. And again, that's just the way it goes. Now, moving on to this, this is the ridiculousness you're going to come across. Like, if you do even happen to get a match, you'll see some dumb bitch like this already past her prime, like, as what some people would call the, in the manosphere or red pill post wall, which, for example, you have this stupid hoe right here saying, Jennifer, 30 years old, and she has the this, a fucking disgusting audacity to say this. Even if you do succeed, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get really, really bottom of the barrel leftover women. Even if she looks decent or good, this is another level of stupidity if you go for this. So she says, I'm a single mother of six with another on the way. Jesus Christ, don't hit me up to waste mine or my kids' times. I'm a good mom and my kids will always come first. You will pay for the first date. And don't expect me to drink with you either. I have standards. I don't kiss you until the fifth date. So don't ask about that either. Please know how to work on cars as I'll likely need your help with that. What else would you be good or anyway? Don't be covered in tattoos or I'll never be able to take you home. This is how fucking stupid this bitch is. This is fucking ridiculous, man. She's literally asking not to have the equivalent of her, which is actually what she deserves, if anything, even lower, because it's just what she deserves. She don't deserve anything better than her, but this is how fucking stupid. Forget about being delusional. This is how stupid she is, and she's she knows she's being stupid, like just the audacity to have this, but you know why? Because... There's another level even stupider, if probably the stupidest, and that has to do with very desperate, lonely, single men. That they will go this fucking far just to get something from women. This is how pathetic. Sometimes I can't blame the women because you have even worser counterparts of males. Like, if you're a guy and you go for this, like, not even me and my shittiest would go for this, man. I'd rather fucking go with the homeless woman that's 
fucking cow covered in tattoos and has no kids. But this piece of shit right here is like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, if you're a guy and you go for this, I, I like, I, I hope you just disappear, honestly, because you're the, the reason why these women keep posting dumb shit like this. Like, this is how stupid not only is she, but how stupid some guys are. Like, she wouldn't be posting this for no reason. She's posting this because she knows there's a lot of stupid loser men that will still scrape this shit off the bottom of the shittiest barrel. And so, again, it's hypocrisy. There's guys who think they're going to get something, and even if they do, I don't, from what I hear, I don't still wouldn't recommend this because I met a friend of mine, like I said, I just gave an example. He was basically scraping the bottom of the barrel. You know, he got a date with a single mom, and um, and he didn't even get sex. Like, he just got a free meal, that's it, but he was hoping to get sex, and it, he didn't give shit. He didn't get shit, and then he tried it again, and he hasn't had success since then. Ask me how long ago this was, and this was like four years ago, during COVID, I think, or during uh, past post-COVID, which is 2021. And so as far as like me, no, this is exactly why I've never uploaded pictures of me or profiles of me on these dating apps or dating websites, because this is what you're going to come across. This is a bunch of stupid ridiculousness. And um, one thing I will say is that some guys will get lucky through hookup culture. Like I got lucky with it when it came to like, I already talked about this um, before I got lucky using social media, but it wasn't a dating app. It wasn't anything actually sexually related. It wasn't dating wise related. It was surprisingly through another platform, which happened to be an Xbox. And then the other one happened to be a fucking, uh, escort site. So it's still, it's still part of hookup culture, but it's not what most people define like most people define hookup culture as a dating uh or mating website or a dating and mating application right like all these stupid apps and so this is exactly why i'm so glad that i never uploaded anything personal about me because i know i would have gotten probably no more better than what my friend did i probably would have gotten just some date with some single mother cum dumpster of five kids that has a high body count and is just trying to get free attention in real life. Because some women get tired of being on social media because, yet again, it proves the point that they're being oversaturated with cybernetic attention. So some women want to go out there, touch grass, and meet a real guy in real life, even though she doesn't plan on fucking him. She just wants to steal his attention. So, and... I make these videos to reach out to the really dumb normies because hookup culture is not what it used to be. Hookup culture has always been around, but it's not what it used to be back for the boomers and fucking silent generation. They have probably had it the best because they were having sex left and right. You know, the hippie era, the peace and love movement, they were fucking left and right. And they were having sex indiscriminately. You know, women that didn't have standards in those days, those were the real golden days for those guys because they could have sex with like almost any woman, right? So the silent generation had it better. The boomers had it better. The Gen Xers had it better. It didn't really get bad until the millennials. So, and now <laughs> millennials might have had it bad, but who has it worse? I would definitely agree and say the Zoomers because shit, I mean, Zoomers are not even touching grass. From what I read and what I hear, like they're mainly all grown introverted and shit. You'll have some exceptions here and there, but like the largest pockets happen to be a bunch of introverted guys that are just, you know, cybernetically addicted to everything social. So that's just unfortunately the, uh, the what's the word I'm looking for? The revelation. And revelations always have like a really bad dark meaning. And this is where we're at. So um, unfortunately, this is where it, it starts and it ends. But my message to older generations is always going to be, you should be glad, especially for the males. If you're like even a normie light to a normie to even a sub five, you know, all you 
earlier previous generations like boomers and gen xers you guys were so lucky that you were born in the time that you were born in because at least you know a fucking sub five or a fucking normie normie light they could have gotten at least a fucking six or seven out of ten female just to have a long you know sexual relationship or whatever the fuck you want to call it they could have had more success just having sex prolonged with a woman within their look scale or even a little bit slightly higher but that's not the case anymore now it's usually guys that are like sixes and and fives i would even go as far and say sevens they're all fucking like three four points beneath them you know you got a seven fucking a five you got a, a six fucking a, a four or a three you know sometimes even a two but they do this all behind closed doors because obviously they don't want to get embarrassed and humiliated but i mean this is just how deregulated the real sexual market is and there's too much hypocrisy and hookup culture to where that is why these guys are just keep dating lower and lower because they can't do better and the women don't make it better for them either because the women are oversaturated with too many dick options and the and the, the crazy thing about that is like how, how does that make sense well it makes sense because again women got too many options so they're oversaturated meanwhile men are undersaturated men in general if you're in the fucking 80 percent bottom 50 percent you ain't gonna have shit and if you are, it's going to always be the lowest qualities of women. It's always going to be the ugliest bitches. It's always going to be the fives, the fours, the threes, and the twos. I mean, shit, if I... I don't want to be too damn transparent but or overshare, but if some people saw the, the ugly women I dated, not even dated, really just smashed, because that's all I really cared about, I mean, people would be roasting me, you know? But the, the people who really, truly understand what I'm talking about, they'd be like, yeah, man, no, you have a valid reason to do that like it just is what it is you know but no i don't regret you know dating down because i always made sure that those women at least had something else to make up for it they either had a big butt or big boobs or long legs which is what i like but as far as the face went man i mean i dated pretty low so as as a millennial as a middle millennial um my my advice to the younger generations is don't listen to the previous generations don't listen to the gen xers don't listen to the boomers they don't know what the fuck they're talking about they don't know how saturated the 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 sexual market value or place is in today's world they don't know that modern day women just have too many options to choose from and that's why they they're doing all these crazy things and they don't know how desperate men are like once they start putting the puzzle together they'll get it just like black pillars do so unfortunately this is just where we're at